This is a moving tale. Jazzy, sit. Sit, stay. It belongs to Jazzy. She's a four-year-old mini Labradoodle who can pretty much read any room she's in. And this is a moving tale, too. Sometimes. It's the story of Innocent Keyless, who is a second grader at PS38 in Harlem. He didn't always read as well as he does now, and his mom, Yvette Rivera, says that made him sad. He would be embarrassed to come to school, because if a teacher would ask him to read something, he felt like the rest of the class knows how to read, and he didn't know how to read. So he would be afraid they would pick on him. Not anymore. Now, once a week, he reads to Jazzy, and his reading and his confidence is improved. I like reading to her because that makes her happy, and it makes me happy also. Jazzy and her human Ellen Goldwyn are part of Read, Reading Education Assistance Dogs. Um, perhaps if they're in the classroom and they mispronounce a word, their peers might, might laugh or might make a comment, whereas they can take risks and they can, um, they can be themselves without any judgment. Amelia Cassandra Sandra's a very sweet little girl, um, a very shy little girl, and um, when Miss Harris came and told me about this program, we were very excited because we would say, oh, well, maybe the dog would bring her out of her shell a little bit, and I have to, you heard her as she was reading, she still was very soft-spoken, but that's more than what I had in the beginning. Children who are struggling readers are able to come and sit and pet the dog and relax and read to the dog and they're actually becoming the tutors helping the dog understand what the story is all about. She thinks that I'm a good reader to her and and I think she's a great dog. And that's the end of this story. Not much more to read into it, though it might give you pause into a new school of thought about how kids learn best and with whom. The Sweet Spot. I'm Mike Sugarman, WCBS News Radio 880.